Minus four. How's she gonna go? Come on. Whoa! She went though, that's all that matters. Defender's got an MOT today. Ooh. What a car cover morning! Absolutely lovely jubbly. Load it up. Can't really see you though. Minus seven last night. It's still about minus three, four at the moment, so I'm just checking all the troughs are working still. This one still works. One more to check here where the bull is. I just had a wee check, it's still minus seven right now. Minus seven, minus six. Cold, cold, but a dry cold, so it's not that bad. Stuck behind some flipping farmers, holding up the roads. It's Kev, by the way. I'm so glad I put bales in the other day, inside so they're not frozen. There goes Kev. Interestingly, not on the tram lines. On purpose. Make of that as you will. Wonky calf. Straightening up a wee bit. There you go. Definitely improved a bit. She's a wee bit twitchy. Not the nicest beast. I'm wary of her anyway, that's for sure. Anyway, Wonky is doing absolutely cracking. Need to go and tag him today, actually. Good luck, Defender. Glory just on the way for oats. So we've got a trail to shift first. Shunt this over here, the oats are down to the right. Dad's guiding me, so I hit less walls than usual. These oats on the right here, so that's Seed Merlin. Merlin's a variety of oats they are. So these are gonna head off to Dodd Seed. They'll be treated where we visited actually. They'll be treated, bagged up, sent across the country to growers. That trailer's just full of wood chip, picked that up the other day, so it's just sitting there ready for when we need it. Here comes the lorry, it'll be a sea cliff, I think, which has got a tiny little dribble of barley in it, so I'm gonna put the barley into the bucket, obviously, because this is seed zero contamination where possible, so the lorry needs to be spotless clean before we put the seed in. He, t he tipped it up early, so all the barley's just sitting on this edge, so we're just sweeping it in. Which can just go into the cattle feed. Job done. I think we're gonna have a high score on the leaderboard with a sea cliff lorry there. The moment of truth. Sea cliff. There's no corners to do or anything, so he gets an eight there. Chit chat, he gets an eight, good chat. Faffing about, uh, there was a wee bit of faff at the start because he had a bit of barley in his lorry, so we're gonna give him a six for faff. Driving, there was nothing difficult, all went smoothly though, eight. New leader, sea cliff lorry, 30 points. That's the line, 30 points, that takes you to first place. You can tell it's been frosty. Outlet for the air conditioner unit in the freezer there. Takes the condensate because the conditioner unit in there, as well as cooling the air, it's taking out moisture. You want dry air in a freezer. It takes atmospheric air, takes it in, cools it down, draws out the moisture. Silage we've brought along here to yard three because the animal with a limp, we think, Maybe, or we're gonna try anyway, maybe it's just getting too much barley, a little bit of acidosis that can have an effect on joints. Because we can't figure out what else is wrong with it. It's just calf there that's got a limp and has had a limp for a while. We'll try and change the diet. We'll just bed them while we're here. I'm not managing to scoop this bale up, so I'm trying to get it off the trailer somehow. Ah, you bandit. Okay, didn't hit that tank. We're also picking up oilseed rape pellets to make up some cattle feed, so that's a protein source for the coos. We'll get those strapped down. Last thing to do, put the bucket on this and fill up a feeder. Just need out the bucket, which is behind this tractor. Quite a few of you are wanting to see more of this. There's a lot of people with a soft spot for a TM. Scrap that, I've not got a key for it. Forklift key doesn't work. I didn't bring a tractor key. Damn it. Just gave them a few barrafuls, so they've definitely got grub till tomorrow morning. Then we can get the feeder filled. Right, we're strapped down to the moon. Discovery's sitting pretty low. The air will sort itself out, they're on airbags, these. 
one of the twins just keeps running away from its mother. We're just running over here and having a snooze. Come on, bud. Yeah, this is the wee one. The totty wee thing, this. Come on, pal. It's a tiny wee cabbie, this. Hey, pal. Go on in. That's where you go. That's the wee calf. That's the bigger calf. The two twins. Significantly smaller, that wee one, than the big one. Get these off now. We're at yard one. I'm going to mix up some feed in here. So. Kev has been on the phone with the unfortunate news that there is sheep out. <coughs> Woosa. What film was that from? Ah. So that's the yard two, which I need to make feed for. So I'm going to make up a batch, fill a trailer, put it on the back of a tractor, go to yard two, fix the fence, come back, mix up another batch, take it to yard three. Assuming it doesn't take too long at yard two to fix the fence. Pure radio. <laughs> The bucket. There it is. There's another lorry coming for oats at some point today. Don't know exactly when. Oh, a digger bucket arrived actually last night. When I was down visiting the digger, I changed the 18 inch bucket to a 12 inch bucket. Um, and they sent a 16 or something inch bucket. So anyway, I phoned them up. So they sent that one 12 inch bucket. The salesmen over the phone made it sound like they dropped that one off and they wouldn't, they're not fussed about picking up the old ones. Then the lorry driver was asking where the other one was. I was like, oh, I thought you weren't taking it back. So he checked with the sales boy and the sales boy couldn't remember. Anyway, we got a free bucket out of it. We love a freebie. I don't think it's gonna rain today or snow. Lovely, absolutely glorious. That's the pellets in there. So that's a byproduct when you press oilseed rape and you get the oil out. That's the stuff that's left and it's high in protein. There's spuds going down in that field this year, so the spud guys have pitched up. I think he's just marking off the boundary of the field. Shiny fen. I need another four bags of minerals, but. The pallet here is empty. There's a new delivery just came in last week up at the top of the farm. Fiber optic guys have been digging. They dug from that field right across here to join up with a farm shop over there. So we've got fiber optic into there, but it was a brute digging across here. Solid, there was old bits of concrete and stone. It was, they didn't enjoy it. This wee machine took a wee while to get through it. Should be some minerals. Oh, they're not here. I don't know where the minerals are. I don't know where the minerals are. Oh, it's on cinematic mode. Do you like cinematic mode? Can't really see what's going on behind me though. That's cinematics where it makes me in focus, but behind me all blurry. Turns out they are in here. I wasn't thinking they'd be put up there. Anyway, there'll be a lot of gravity in those minerals. Steady does it. Also, this is for sale. And um, this is a refrigeration unit that came out of the farm shop. Three doors, one, two, three. It came out because it broke down, can't remember exactly why, and the downtime was costing too much productivity in the shop and we couldn't really afford to have the downtime to sit and repair this. So we got a new one in, so this is for sale. If it doesn't sell, we'll just start using it for parts all the time. So if anyone's interested, let us know. It is not working right now. I'll check with my brother what the actual issue was with, was it? With it was, sorry. It's not working, but it, it will be repairable. Just gonna chuck this pallet in here, take it down to the shed, as long as it doesn't put a bow in the bucket. Minerals are very, very dense stuff. It's effectively like bags of sand. Delivery drivers blocked me in. Blocked in with a digger and a delivery driver. That's the pipe. They think they've fixed it now. I've turned it back on. Seems to be. Dad's got a trailer on the track today, so once I've mixed up a batch, I'll fill the trailer up. We've now got enough minerals in there. Tractor's looking shiny. That's making on. No hanging about. He who hangeth about getteth he haw. Where's that quote from? Barley, minerals, rapeseed pellets. Smashing, just need to chuck that in the trailer. Loaded. That tractor's looking well in the sun, isn't it? They've been in again. I put a bit of rope on it. Just, just put the rope back on. Next lorry's arrived. Dad just started loading it. I'll do him a swap and he's going to take some food waste along the road to yard two. Smashing. 
Scrap that, Dad's just gonna load this lorry. Another Seacliff lorry. It won't make my judging scoreboard because I'm not loading it. I'm gonna take that tractor and feed along the road to yard too. Once Dad's finished loading that lorry, 10 minutes time, he'll take the food waste along there and then we'll fix that fence where the sheep have been escaping. Yard two bound. Back, sir. Spud guys have pitched up. A way to spread some fart, I think. The crafty bandits. It's a field of barley, not grass. Feed dumped. That'll do, now we'll go and sort the fence. Here's a golden pooch. The damn sheep, here they are. What do we call the sheep, Freddy? Bandits. Bandits. Bandit sheep. Bandit sheep. Do we like cows or do we like sheep? Cows. Cows, yep. Yeah. Tractors or sheep? Quad bikes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, quad bikes. I think I've found where the sheep have been coming through. The fence has collapsed, the posts are all rotten, that's why. That's just going to come down with some posts. What are you saying, Fred? The fence has collapsed. It's collapsed, are we going to fix it? Yes. How do we fix it? With some new posts. With some new posts, yeah. And what else do we need? What are these things called, Fred? Do you what they're called? Screws. No, it's a staple. Call them staples. And what's this bit called? That's called the wire. Yeah, the wire. Yeah. And this 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 one's called barbed wire because it's got sharp bits on it. So what do we do then? So we put new posts in and then we put the wires onto the new posts and we staple them in. What tool do you need to put the staples in? With hammers. A hammer, yeah. You're getting good at this. Yeah. You could be a farmer. Yeah. Where's your toolbox? to get your tools to build the fence. Yeah. What's on tomorrow, Freddie? My birthday. Your birthday? How old? Four. Not too many years till you can drive a tractor. Or a quad bike. Or a quad bike, yeah. Good idea. Is four old enough to drive a quad bike? No. 16 to old to drive a quad bike. Is it? Yeah. I think it actually might be. He knows more than me. Ready? Are you getting gate ladies job? There's tensioners on these wires thankfully so we'll get them tensioned up once we get the fence up again. You gonna manage it Fred? Is it too hard? Is it stiff? You have to push this one down a wee bit. So I'll stand on this bit. Right now do it. You line that bit up, so fold it up the way. There you go, now pull it back. Keep going, that's it. Yay! Just in time, here comes Papa. Oh, opened it the wrong way. Watch your fingers. What's up there? You got your fast shoes, right? Go, 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 go. Lift it in the middle. Lift it in the middle. In the middle. All right, down it goes. Keep going. Yep. Straight as an arrow. There we go, six posts in, straight as an arrow. I'm gonna throw it in here. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Hard, a big swing. Yeah, that's it, perfect. Hit that little bit there at the end. Ah, oh, that's it. That was a good one. Keep hitting, keep hitting. One big swing. There we go, that's perfect. That was bang on the money. And one more. One more. Cheap labor. Go. Are you going to burn it in your fire? Do we know what we're doing with these ones, Freddy? What do these things do? What do these make the wire tighter, Freddy? These make the wire tighter. Yeah, so it's make, make sure these are all tight. So you, you stand over there. Right here. Because if it goes ping, you don't want it to hit you. What's that like? Is that right? It doesn't go ping anyway. It might do though. You've got to be careful in case it does. So if you're ever doing this, Freddy, you put your goggles on, don't you? There we go, now they're all tight. Give them a feel. Check how tight they are. That's tight, isn't it? Yeah. So that means the sheep can't get through. That's the theory, anyway. Right, six new posts. All the wires have been retentioned. Fingers crossed. Will the sheep get through there? No. Hopefully not. I hope so. Fixed fence prediction. How many days till we have sheep out again? What a job on the ditch that is. Beautiful. Who's done that? 
it starts to get a bit rough here. We've got a wet patch in a field up there, a grass field, so maybe tomorrow I'll head up with a digger and have a dig about and see if I can find what the issue is. Kev's all done, spreading fur, he's cleaned the fur spreader. Whoa, look at the red, it real pops. It's looking lovely, that. I'm gonna go and mix up more feed. This wee calf just does what it wants. Menace. Probably discussing how much of a liability I am on this machine. Anyway, I'm about to go and mix up another batch of feed. Didn't sweep up earlier because I knew I was making another batch. So I have four now. By the time I get all this done, ah, that'll be done for the day. I'm an honourable man at the end of the day. Can't be working too hard. Anyway, cheers for watching. I will see you tomorrow. If you're not already, please subscribe. Only 48% of you are subscribed. Right there, see that? Get subscribing. Try and get it to 50-50. Come on. Bang on the money. Bang.